Highness, my Lords, ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to welcome you all here to the Royal Academy of Engineering Awards. This is our opportunity to acknowledge the achievements of an exceptional group of engineers. Engineering is everywhere, and we in the profession see that every day. Most people happily benefit from engineering innovation without even giving it a second thought. But I think we've all sensed a subtle change in the last few years. Slowly but surely, engineering is re-entering the public psyche. Together with our partners in industry, we're taking every opportunity to promote careers in engineering. Our awards are another way in which we celebrate engineering and raise its profile. And so the Academy is very grateful to our sponsors who've made tonight's ceremony possible. One of the great privileges of becoming president of this Academy is the ability to award the President's Medal. And this year, I honor someone who's been an unwavering champion of engineering and engineering skills. A titan of British industry for decades, I'm delighted to ask Sir Richard Olver to join me on stage to receive the President's Medal. We were very lucky um, to be able to do a lot of things in education. We were able to rewrite the design and technology uh, curriculum for UK schools. We did the same thing for computer science and we saved the um, diploma in engineering from demise, which was fantastic. It's a wonderful acknowledgement and a, a great privilege um, of uh, things done over the last decade. Nights like tonight are crucial because we need to support and we need to celebrate the next generation of innovators. And that's what we're doing tonight. We're supporting it. The United States is trying to do it in our way. President Obama takes it really seriously. The UK government, UK industry is doing its part. This academy and the work it's doing on many fronts, including the Enterprise Hub, and those of you in the room who've raised your hands to be mentors should be applauded for the work you're doing to nurture that next generation. If you look at our world today, remarkable changes are taking place. And we have to be able to respond to those changes. We will need to be much more innovative in the way that we do these sort of things. And of course, with innovation, you need to have the people to be innovative. You need to create the structure, but you have to have the people with the skills to actually apply that innovation and the uniqueness that we have within engineering. We are in the, here in the Academy believe that engineering is vital for economic growth. And great talent is essential to the future of this engineering. Please welcome to the stage our rising stars of 2015. The Colin Campbell Mitchell Award commemorates one of Scotland's most accomplished marine engineers. This year's winning team has achieved great things in optical communications. Please welcome group leader, Professor Polina Bevel, Dr. Lydia Galdino, Dr. Robert Killey, Dr. Seb Savory, and Dr. Ben Thompson. It feels wonderful. It's a wonderful recognition of the research that we've been doing for a number of years. And I'm particularly happy for my team, for my colleagues. We're competing with some of the leading industrial research laboratories. But in order to be able to compete, it requires a lot of capital investment, extraordinary staff, fantastic researchers, and fantastic ideas, and absolute teamwork to pull all that together. Our finalists this year combine outstanding innovation with real benefit to society. Artemis Intelligent Power, based in Edinburgh, have invented a new system with digitally controlled hydraulics that enables offshore wind turbines to generate more power. From Cambridge, Endermag have created a probe that helps cancer patients 
to avoid unnecessary surgery. And Blackpool-based Victrex have developed ultra-thin plastic films used in smartphone and tablet speakers. Please welcome the Atkins engineers who led the delivery of this vital project, Chris Bond, John Geno, J.D. Olalero, and Neil Watt. This year's winner of the ERA Foundation Award is Dr. Matthew Murray from the University of Leeds. Alpin, his patented invention, allows anti-counterfeit plasmas to be implanted into glass. The new system can guard against both financial loss due to counterfeiting and potential health risks posed by fake drugs. To win the award, absolutely amazing. I mean, it's, it's absolutely changed my, my life, my career, hugely. I mean, the, the people that I've met, you'd never, you'd never get the chance to meet them. You'd never get the chance to have one-on-one -on -one conversations where you didn't feel like you were stealing just those extra few snippets of time. You actually feel like you're really engaging with people who can really make a difference to what you're trying to do. And that, you know, you just, you can't get it anywhere else in the world, I would say. So it's an absolute honor, really, really is. Your Royal Highness, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It's my great pleasure to talk now about the silver medals, which recognise outstanding personal contributions to engineering that have resulted in commercial success. Please welcome to the stage the silver medalists themselves. And one of the reasons why I'm excited to be here is because one of them is a woman, Dr. Susanna Clark. <laughs> Dr. Don Simon and Dr. Andy Ward. So I was very surprised and very excited to have won an award. It's a, a real acc um, accolade, a real privilege to be awarded by such a great institution such as the Royal Academy. We 3D print custom surgical instruments for the orthopedic industry, so that's knee and hip surgery. Uh, this enables us to get uh, to devious the procedures and get higher precision at a lower cost. Now, uh, Don, you're at Microsoft Research, uh, creating building blocks to the virtual world. What does that mean for me? So, um, so over the last 15 years, I've had the immense opportunity and, and good fortune to, to uh, be able to roll out a, a range of improvements in programming languages, uh, yeah. particularly two programming languages I've worked on directly called C-sharp and F-sharp. Well, now, your company, UbiSense, helps people find things. That's right. We, we are able to track things inside buildings to within a few centimeters accuracy. So we do a lot of work in car factories, for example, and by using that data, we can make things like car factories more productive and improve the quality of the product that comes out. The winner of the Rook Award this evening uh, is another passionate communicator who has tirelessly appeared on many, many platforms, including television, to share his passion of engineering with millions of people at home. He is Dr. Hugh Hunt of the University in Cambridge. It's been difficult over the years to get the profile of engineers raised up. And I'm really pleased at last to be given some kind of recognition for the work that I've been doing. <laughs> and so the winner of the Royal Academy of Engineering Mag Rupert Award 2015 is Artemis Intelligent Power. I mean, first of all, um, this award means so much to us, the team that you see here, but also the team back, back in Edinburgh. I just want to say a sincere thank you from, from me to, to the Royal Academy of Engineering.